So here we have the mini three-door hatchback on a 20 plate. So I'm gonna start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop inside the car and run through some controls from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Uh, this tray section then lifts, stores away there to give you even more space again. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer in the middle and the fuel gauge on the right-hand side. Also in the middle, you can see the total mass of this car, which are only 1,430, so very low mileage. You can change the information displayed above that by pressing the button on the end of the indicator stalk. For various bits of trip computer, fuel economy information, you can have a digital readout for the speedometer displayed there, as you can see. And if we back out to the steering wheel, we have a speed limiter on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, stereo and phone controls. You won't be able to use the phone controls until you pair the phone up to the car, and that is done over on the central screen just here under the communication heading and then manage mobile devices. All the movement I'm making on the screen is being done using this dial and the collection of buttons that surround it. You can do virtually everything from here though. So for example, if you want to access your music, rotate the dial to media and radio, push it down. You're then in that menu, you can rotate it for DAB and FM radio. Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly once you've paired your phone, and USB input as well. You can even pair your phone from that menu if you wish to. And then the other menus are your car settings, as you can see, and then back around to that beginning bit again. We have the main volume for the stereo just there. Beneath that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the driver and passenger temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed from here. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns your air conditioning on and it's on when that light shows. Same button to turn it off, of course. All hit auto, the car will now, as you can hear, take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air. Press auto again to turn that off. It will take control of those things, but maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. We've got a heated driver's seat and a heated passenger seat, both with three separate heat settings on each. Beneath that, we can turn our parking sensors on and off. We can turn off our stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is off when that light shows. This button starts and stops the engine and you can turn off your traction control over on the right hand side just there. We have a 12 volt charging socket and USB input and then your six speed manual gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.